Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the Nexus Venus from Faith Guitars. Faith are a UK based brand designed by Patrick James Eggle and manufactured in Indonesia and the new Nexus range sits in the middle of their range and offers all mahogany construction as well as a new darker aesthetic. The Nexus Venus features all solid mahogany back top and sides, a mahogany neck with a Macassan ebony fingerboard, the scale length is 650mm and the new bone nut has a nut width of 43mm. An ebony bridge features a new bone saddle with a spacing of 55mm and the entire guitar has a high gloss finish over a hand rubbed cognac burst. Electronics are provided by a Fisherman Isis system and the guitar has an RRP of £649. Faith have established themselves with a reputation for well made affordable solid wood guitars and I would expect this new Nexus series to be no different. So let's have a listen to the guitar now, see if my expectations are met. My first impression of the guitar is that Faith have gone for a distinctive take on the all mahogany look. Quite often with this wood combination manufacturers go for a retro or vintage vibe so it's nice to see something that looks a little bit more contemporary. The cognac burst gives the guitar a rich colour with some purplish hues that you don't normally see from mahogany and also the combination of black hardware and the black nut and saddle give the guitar a more modern look so I think it's clear to say that Faith aren't trying for a traditional look to this guitar they're definitely going for something more modern and clean. Although it is quite an understated looking instrument there is a few nice touches of flash with the abalone on the rosette and also the figured wood featured on the fingerboard and the bridge although I do think both the fingerboard and the bridge could do with a little bit of lemon oil just to make that figuring really pop. The build quality is generally very high with the gloss finish applied evenly across the guitar. There are a few patches on the inside where I think maybe that stain has seeped through the wood and not quite been sanded off but that's a minor niggle I mean, it doesn't affect the outside appearance of the guitar. Also a couple of the bridge pins are a little bit loose fitting but I think maybe you could reseat them when you change the strings. So it's a couple of minor niggles but nothing bad on the guitar at all. Overall it feels very well made and you know it looks very well made as well. 
Moving on to the tone of the guitar, I did feel that there was a slight discrepancy between the sound that I experienced as I was playing and then the sound that I heard back coming from the speakers after listening to the recording. Now, this is something that I've experienced with mahogany topped guitars before. I think there is a fullness in the mid range which translates very well to the listening position when you're playing and gives you a nice sense of the guitar being quite large sounding. But sometimes that extra mid range can come across a little bit honky from out front. Now that honkiness isn't necessarily unpleasant, in fact it can help the guitar sit nicely in a busy mix and cut through over other instruments. And it also gives you a bit of thickness to single notes, but if you're looking for a guitar that's projecting lots of bass and thick trebles, then perhaps a mahogany topped guitar isn't going to carry that. However, when strumming the guitar I felt like the recorded sound much better represented what I was hearing when I was playing. The top end is more lively, and that kind of low mid frequency which was dominating the finger pick parts wasn't dominating the sound as much. The included Fishman pickup gives out a solid under saddle tone. Now it's a sound that we'd all recognise as being a piezo pickup but it is something that I think a sound person could work with with a bit of EQ and reverb to give you a usable tone in a gigging environment. Probably not 100% representative of the unplugged tone of the acoustic guitar but definitely workable in a live situation. The playability is really good with a nice comfortable neck and a low action and plenty of space at the nut and saddle for finger style and strumming styles. The body style being more or less an OM size is also very comfortable and obviously the cutaway gives easy access to the upper frets. I think it's also worth mentioning that the guitar is very lively feeling so I think that actually does help with the playability as well because I didn't feel like I had to dig in a lot to get the sound out so you're not working so hard with either hands and that helps combined with the low action to just make the guitar very easy to play. I think the contrast between the playing position sound and the recorded sound is something that you could take advantage of as a player. So if you want a guitar that sounds full and rich at home when you're playing but then you can use it in a band mix and not have to worry about excessive low end that's going to dominate frequencies reserved for other instruments, that would work really well. Also if you're a singer and you want a guitar that's going to accompany you and also give you space for your voice to sit in, I think the kind of limited mid-range focus tone of this guitar is going to work in that context as well. A £649 for an all solid wood guitar that's easy to play and gig ready, I think this guitar represents good value for money from Faith. It would be nice to see a hard case or a gig bag included but in defence of Faith guitars we have seen prices rise a lot recently. And I think they've decided that to stick to their all solid wood ethos, they've had to cut back on some of the extras. But you still get a pickup included, and as I say, the guitar is all solid at £649, so I think it's still good value for money. Overall, the Nexus Venus is a very well made guitar, it's very easy to play, with a good sound, a good pickup included, and also some nice design choices. If you like the mahogany sound, and you want it in a guitar with a distinct look at an affordable price, and certainly the Nexus series is a range of guitars from Faith that should be on your shopping list. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe to keep updated with new videos and I look forward to seeing you next time.